Okay, my new computer just came. I'm gonna do an unboxing and uh, we'll go from there. I don't remember the exact specifications on it, but that'll definitely be in the description. The FedEx guy just left April 2020 in Ohio, so let's dive right into it. It's heavy too. piece of panning. This is my order uh, summary. It's an XZ, I'm sorry, NZ XT streaming PC. And I'll fold this so you can see exactly what I got. So I like to make videos for when I fish and fix stuff around the house. And I also like to play um, a video game online called EverQuest. If you know what that is, you're definitely old school because it's been around for 20 years. And my other PC just ain't keeping up with it anymore. So my son told me to get one of these. There it is. Oh. NZ XT. Hopefully it's not as hard to get out as that last box. Oh, I don't know. Looks like it's been opened. That's making me nervous right off the bat. Quick start guide. We don't need that. Oh, there we go. Little goodie pack here. And close. All right. There's the side of it. Everything looks so good so far. It's the front of it. Really basic in the front. I got to pull out the packing material. Looks like we got a uh, USB port. I don't know what that port's for. And maybe that's a microphone or headphones. And then this is the back, which I couldn't find any pictures on their website to see the back. But it looks like some USB ports. Big thing I was worried about was the monitor ports. Looks like I can hook three to four monitors up. It's an HDMI and then three regular monitor ports. This looks like an old monitor port too. Another HDMI up there. It's for the internet. Speakers microphone flash bios button I don't know what that is 
I don't know what these are for either. But pretty sweet. Gigantic. I got some other stuff to go with it that I bought on Amazon. This is a uh, cable for my monitor to hook into the monitor of uh, course. I got old school monitors, which I'm not going to upgrade yet. But uh, there's a VGA. And this is a VGA to monitor port converter. So I only needed one of those. Red Dragon Gaming Essentials, which is a mouse, keyboard, headphones, and a mouse pad. Which uh, I'll open this up here in a few minutes. But I read decent reviews about this. And since it was four in one in one box, that's why I went ahead and bought it. And I'm using an old school Amazon Essentials mouse. <laughs> and keyboard so you can make fun of me of getting this I'm in my 50s now and that's all right this will be the first time I ever bought something like this and I don't even know why I got the headphones because I don't use headphones so nice okay let's see what's in the uh, accessory bag for this new computer cables the motherboard drivers a true gamer sticker I'll put that on my truck quick installation guide Motherboard user guide, the uh, AMD processor, probably instructions. That's the main power cord. Some other type of cord. This is a bracket for some part of the computer. I'm assuming after I take that case apart, there's something that needs to snap in place. This is Wi-Fi card instructions, some extra case brackets. Probably if I snap new hardware in. Oh, this is the... Uh, those plugs on the back of it that look like uh, cable it must be for, that must be the Wi-Fi card and these are the antennas for it so these go on the back of the PC if I use the Wi-Fi connection interesting thank you card and whatever's in this box zip ties and some more cables. Looks like an adapter. This is well, this looks like a build diagram. So that's all the pieces parts of what came in the box. This is actually pretty interesting here. It makes sense now. Still trying to put my new computer together. I'm going to open up my Red Dragon Gaming Essentials. Lighting in here is bad, so bear with me. the key 
keyboard. Not bad. <clears throat> Some sweet headphones, which I probably will never wear. Whoa. Mouse, gaming mouse, it's got some extra buttons on the side, I have to figure that out, nice solid cord too, it looks like it's long. Gigantic mouse pad, geez. <clears throat> and a little manual in five different languages. I'm gonna hook up the new computer. Okay, we're gonna try to take this thing apart. This is my quick start directions. This is not the permanent spot where I'm gonna keep this. So. I gotta take this glass off, which is freaking me out a little bit, and pull out this packaging. And the only thing I can figure out is I have to take this screw off up here. Which doesn't look like it. Sweet. Two little plastic nubs and this retaining screw, and then it lifts up. And now I gotta take this out, which is super easy. Good work. And now this is the inside of the box. Got my screwdriver here. Got a little dust in there. I have to wipe that off. Hopefully you can see in there real good. Okay, I'm just going to follow these instructions here. You can hit pause on your uh, video viewer if you want to read these. I'm done holding them. Step number one says hook up monitors. And that's this plug right here. Second monitor has not arrived yet. Okay, so that's the monitor. I'll go ahead and plug power in for the monitor. Step two is plug in peripherals. That's my keyboard and mouse. It's old school mouse keyboard button. I'm going USB. Okay, little disclaimer, I am not a computer pro. I'm a do-it-yourselfer, but I have changed memory and flopped out power sources that I want bad and pulled hard disks out and put new sound cards in. So I ripped basically most of the stuff apart in a computer over the last 20 some years, but I'm not a expert. So we'll keep going here. That was step two. Step three, connect to the internet. Now this may be a challenging step because I don't have an ethernet connection 
then I can pull all the way over here. So for the time being, I'm gonna see if I can set this thing up with these uh, wireless internet, which is what these jacks are for. And I might pull my ethernet cord over, dig one out, I know I got an extra one. Okay, sync up sound. Sound, this is where I had to do a little research. And my sound cord is here. And normally these are labeled green on the back, but I'm almost certain it's this L out button. Look at that. And the sound also has I got big speakers for this too, a Logtex system, a little subwoofer, that's the power cord for that. And then the power cord for the computer, which is right here, little protective cover. Okay, that's plugged in. And there's Finney's Q. I'm gonna go ahead and put this glass back on. Yeah, that's taking way too long. I don't wanna strip this out. So I know there's a certain way it goes in. Okay, that's all hooked up. I'm gonna run a ethernet cord just to be safe. So be right back. This is a router that I'm running, which has um, four ports on the back for wired ethernet connections. This is the cord that I'm gonna hook it up to that's gonna be invisible because the computer's going down here in this spot. That's my uh, subwoofer for my Logtech speakers, which these things are incredible. There's videos on them. I don't know the brand right off the top of my head. So I'm going to stretch this cord over and then fire this thing up. Okay. That's it, the moment of truth is coming. Get some light in here. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Set up my flashlight. Okay, everything's plugged in. Wait a minute. I forgot to plug the power in for the computer. Moment of truth. This is the part of the video that I wanted the most because when I was researching this computer, I did not see a startup on the actual screen on what it does. So if I jerk the camera around at this point, I apologize. Here we go. Main power button. Speakers are on. Monitors on. There's no signal coming from your computer. It's because it's not turned on. Here we go. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Got some colors flashing there. 
Here's here comes the computer screen. Arsenal Gaming, we got ax we got activity. Loading. This thing is looking pretty sweet. Just a moment. Okay, region is the US. Yes. Skip. Don't need a second keyboard layout. Windows 10. I hope this comes out all right. Move these around so I don't have to hold the camera. Yep. Sign on with a Microsoft account. I'm going to pause here. Okay, signed in with my Microsoft account. Now I'm going to have to create a pin that only works on this device so it stays off the web. So I'm going to create a pin and pause so no one can see what my pin is. Okay, I created a new uh, pin. If you want to do more across dice. No, we don't want them cracking us. No. Do it later. I don't have an Android. Back up your files from OneDrive. I hate OneDrive. Only save files to this PC. That service slowed my other computer down to the point where I had to delete the program. Uh, no thanks. I'm going to download that for free. Get help from your digital assistant. Um, manage your time. Get things done. Decline. Yeah, it looks so. I don't know. That looks kind of edgy, too. We'll accept it and change it later. Privacy. Yeah, this all looks good. I know I can change all this. Okay. Hi. There we go. So far so good. Keyboard's got some lights in it. This thing is rocking and rolling. Some cool lights. I'm going to pause this. Come back. Okay, this is the first screen that came up. It says, Welcome to Windows. I don't need a tutorial on Windows. I'm getting this little, the, the control panel for NVIDIA is not found, but up there it's showing the GeForce Experience icon. So we're going to let this thing run for a second. Maybe I need to install that. Internet Explorer. I'll have to change that because I use um, Chrome. Ask me later. Microsoft Edge. I actually, I'm going to download this too. I like to have two browsers. 
but this has already got Explorer. I think Edge is different. The newer version. Lock that out. It's probably why it's asking for this. So it's asking me to get this Nvidia control panel. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. But it's free. I don't need that. But I have this up here. So let's click on this and see what happens. Because this looks like the control panel right here. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. Let's look at the hard disk. There's the local disk. I got like one tera gig. So it looks like it just has Windows Edge. I don't know what this next Z NZXT cam is. It's probably a camera. That's just a shortcut. Probably to a website. Let's see what happens. Mm, it did something. Oh, this must be like a help desk thing. For them to help you online if you're having issues. Uh, I gotta come down here and click a button or it's right there. I can't see it. There we go. Well, this is all the system settings. It's got the correct time. So this must be a um, system program just to see if everything's working and how it's working. Pretty cool. that out I see a uh, I don't know if I need to download this or not or log in I'm gonna pause it here because I have this on my other system so I don't know if I need to use that login or not and I gotta find it so everything that's the boot up of the new system out of the box. I don't know if you can see with the dark um, light in here or not, but that's the hook up and start up this beast. Not bad. Fired right up. Actually, it's pretty cool. Back's all hooked up. Everything's running right from box to plug in. Uh, actually, I need to test my sound, which appears that button is red. That's not good. It's supposed to be green, I think. We'll find out. Go to YouTube.
Yep, we got sound. Look at this sweet YouTube page. Yes. All right, it's the middle of October 2019 and the cold wind is coming. Um, this is a video of the biggest bass I caught this year a couple of weeks ago with Finnegan. It was 20 inches in a local reservoir. He actually hit on a fin spin lure. Okay, sound works. I'm excited. I don't know the weight of it. You guys can guess it. So enjoy the video. Okay, I'm going to try to do this with the, the least amount of editing I can for this YouTube video, but that is about the end of it. I got to go in and load uh, Microsoft Office. I'm a Microsoft Office guy. I got to load EverQuest. Shout out to all my EverQuest peeps out there. You can keep the laughter to a minimum and pull some files over. I got two external one tera gig hard disks that I can do that with. I may try to link the two PCs together, figure that out. But everything's rocking and rolling. The only thing I'm waiting now for is uh, my last monitor, which is coming via FedEx and going in that gap over there. So this is my setup. I got a good Asus router, good printer that's wireless that we can print from anywhere in the house, but it's also hardwired. That's a TV monitor that I watch TV on through the web. My Dell monitor that I triple box when I play EverQuest. This beast, my red dragon keyboard and mouse and look at those colors. The biggest mouse pad in the history of the universe. Alright, I'll be making videos and playing video games by the end of the night. Thanks for watching. All right, this is a few months later. It's a quick summary of my setup to end the video. This is the main PC down there underneath that I unboxed. It runs that monitor, that monitor, and that monitor. This is actually my old laptop, which I watch TV on. And over to my right, it's my old PC that I still run a uh, video game character on. I use for my email. It's a still a good computer, so I didn't want to just not use it anymore so actually I have three games running right now plus I'm editing some uh, video which is actually the video I'm making right now so this is the next cam that was showed during the video but with three video games running you can see the system is not being overworked at all which is pretty cool. So everything's running fine. No issues. Very happy. And I think I can run a fourth monitor, but I just didn't want to do that. It's kind of hard uh, moving between monitors too. Two is okay, three is a little challenging, so that's why I didn't want to run the fourth because you still have to use the keyboard. And, uh, that's why I went the route that I went. So. Thanks for watching.